hello hey guys it is my god what's today tuesday yeah i think today's tuesday welcome to art throwdown um peeps are already jumping in here so i'm going to let them in letting russ in i'm wearing my watermelon shirt tonight so you know some levity <laughs> hello hello I'm wearing my watermelon shirt tonight. I just thought you should know that. Okay. <laughs> but it's all covered up, though. I have a sweater on because it's like 40-something degrees here. It's cold. Um, anyways, you can see I have watermelons on my shirt. I just thought I'd point that out. So. And I don't, so. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're not coordinating this time. This time. Ah, anyways, hello. <laughs> Hello. So it looks like we have Phil and Jim and Nan and Ashley and Carrie and Frank. People are throwing watermelons down in the comments. I love it. <laughs> and Rockabilly Nick is here. Nick is here. And yeah. So yeah, I uh, honestly, I had such a crazy day. I completely forgot to just post that this was happening, but I'm like, well, um, I feel like we should still kind of assemble here and, uh, cause it's good. Crafts are good for you. <laughs> it's just the camaraderie. So, you know, here we are Tuesday yeah, night. I'm not complaining Sunday. in the East in least. Uh, I was, uh, I just didn't know if I missed something last night in all the discussions because no. I was so self-absorbed <laughs> in my, uh, in my project. Nope. That um, was just me today being like, whoa. I completely forgot. I usually put something up on my feed, just remind people that it's happening. But um, today was kind of a whirlwind, so I did not. So anyway, I'm glad you guys and are I here. And I have found an interesting thing is I have you on my phone, but you're blackened out in my uh, on the Dr. Russ account. So that's interesting. You can't see me? I can see you on my phone, but I can't see you on my Dr. Russ account. Okay, is anybody out there watching that cannot see me? That's weird. <laughs> um, can you guys, I assume you guys can see my watermelon shirt because people are throwing melons down yeah. here in the comments. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so let me try to join again. Okay, I've joined again. So you're fine again now. He's so I don't know what technical happened. technical difficulties. Yeah, you know, it is the Bronx. So, all right. Well, Carrie says we can, they can see me and I'm getting watermelons from Phil. So, um, yeah, watermelon slices. Cool. Okay. And look, look at this, look at this. I am going to sometime reverse engineer this, this, can you guys believe, have you guys ever seen anything like this? This is a paper wallet and I found it upstairs in my home office earlier. This came from my pen pail in Japan. So this is washi tape all around the edges. If you look at the inside, this is some scrapbook paper and it's covered with like that plastic, um, I don't know, clear plastic film that you get around like a pack of stickers. So it looks like this was repurposed. It's got magnets on the inside. So look at this, it's actually magnetic. And then when you open it, look at this. Russ, have you ever seen anything like this? It's got like tiny envelopes filled with sticker flakes. Look at this, look at this. Let me do do that again, but let me see this. Let me see the side view of the open, of the side opened view. side view of the opened. Yes, yeah, so open like the. I just want to see how the spine, how they're connected to the spine. It just looks like envelopes that are. Uh, can you raise it up a little bit towards? There you go. It looks like they're envelopes that's just glued together with the flaps that have been cut off. I'm just curious to see how they are appended to the actual um, holder. That's interesting. They appear to just be, and I'm peeking at the spine here, they kind of look like they were just kind of glued together. And then the outsides of these edges got glued down to the inside of this wallet. But it's yeah. kind of accordions. Like, isn't this interesting? Yeah. Yeah. Look at it, accordions. Yeah, it is cool. <laughs> I found this upstairs and I was looking at it today. I'm like, I've got to show this to you guys because I want to be able to make these at some point. They're so cool. And what a cool well, way I to just send sticker flakes. Yeah, I think that is that really is just envelopes glued together at the base. <laughs> I think so. And then somehow 
the front and back page of the first and last envelope are glued to the carrier. Yes. Um, you know, uh, and then you can make the carrier out of anything. It is, it is ingenious. Yeah. I want, I'm sure it's on, I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. Paper wallet, I guess, or, or paper accordion wallet. I don't know. Maybe that's, yeah. maybe, yeah, I know. Nan's like, next tutorial, I'm going to check that out and see if I can't find something that does that. In the meantime, tonight, I went through the box of goodies that Russ sent me recently. And so I now have, and I proactively cut these to size so that we can make tons of Dunkin' Donuts postcards. Um, you can see the cyclones under my eyes. I'm real tired, so I don't want anything that requires a lot of thought or like decision making. So <laughs> this is my go-to tonight. It is. A repurposed snuff box, Frank says. Snuff box? Yeah, he, maybe he's just late Victorian. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Or watching too much Antiques Roadshow, one of the two. Yes, yes. Too much Antiques Roadshow will do that. Well, I think the problem with, is that with this pandemic is that I'm going to be a master of uh, antiques because I've watched every episode of both the British versions and the American versions. So could I just so, like hold something up and you can like auto appraise it for me? Are you oh, getting exactly. that good? That's, ex that's exactly what can happen. <laughs> like it's from this year, this era, and it's probably worth about this price range. <laughs> Phil says that you are tired, but you're still your wonderful, happy self for us. And he I'm says, here, thank man. you. I got my Duncan's postcards. And uh, I think it, by the end of the night, I will have, um, and I'm going to start working on these tonight. This might go to tomorrow, but I got one. I've got, let's see, two, three, four. Did you cut open the the boxes, the box lid, the Dunkin' Donuts box lid as well, or are you just going to use the uh, bags? I could make eight right now. Like, I am set up to make eight. I've got two box lids. I've got six of the paper bags that I was going to start to glue on top of some pre-cut pieces of cardstock. So, you know, we've got this going on, which is nice. Cool. That's what I'm doing tonight. Minimum effort, minimum thought process. It's just like... I can go on autopilot for like an hour. It's going to be great. Well, mine is going to be similarly autopilot in that I'm going to work on my uh, Challenge 11 postcard. Are you stressing about this? No, because I, I think I have a concept. I went with the concept. So um, you, have a, you got a theme going there? I do. I do. I am going to make a pride flag cool. out of postage stamps ah okay so this is kind of like my rainbow sticker collage, yeah but with stamps yeah. wow. and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put all these in the rainbow colors of the pride flag and then i'm going to decorate with some pride stickers right um on. and then but the beauty of this is the back part so um this is so that you everyone can see themselves when they view Whoa. the card so this is a mirror what's called a mirror card it's mirror card stock uh i didn't have the silver one but i'm using this blue one and so this is the side that's actually going to be addressed and have the postage stamp so when someone looks at it they'll see their face in relationship to how they feel about the gay pride and the gay flag very cool are you wearing a visor no why oh <laughs> The ankle looks weird with that mirror card. <laughs> yeah. It looks like you're wearing a spelunking helmet. Like, it looks like it's got a... Anyway. <laughs> no, that's just my fat, bald head. <laughs> that, gets, that gets distorted with this He's kind like, of... He's like, hold uh, on. i got to get my mirror. crafting helmet on for this. <laughs> yeah. No, that's the... You know, that this turns it into, like, one of those circus mirrors. Uh -huh. You know? Yep. Uh, so, it gives me that big head look. And I have a big, fat head anyway, so... <laughs> Oh, Lordy. All right. Well. So that's what I'm going to work on. It's just now, uh, if you hear me repeating in my head, Roy G. Biv, Roy G. Biv, you know what's going on. We do. We know very well what's going on. 
And I tell you, when I did that sticker rainbow, like, whoops, oh, there goes my glue stick. Um, when we did that sticker rainbow collage thing, like it took me an hour. I had to like pick the stickers and I was like categorically putting them, sorting them by color. Like it got crazy. Um, well, that's what I'm having to do because I have to be, uh, uh, that, spelunking. <laughs> uh Frank says spelunking. That should be on ATD bingo. Yeah. They're not going to let you go. They're not going to let you go with this bingo thing. No, no, I, they're it's, not going to give it up. Like, so the, 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 uh, the concept is still in my head. It's like turning around up in here and, um, I'm, it's, I'm churning on this. It, it, it has to happen. And I'm trying to come up with a list of bingo terms that we can put that will fit inside a little tiny square. So I'm thinking things like, um, ooh, which I just dropped glitter glue, bacon, um, postcard, um, I don't know, stuff like that. Stuff that we usually talk about. Um, I'll be right back. I got to go get this glue stick. Hold on. It rolled right away. That's the, that's the, that's the difficulty with those glue sticks is that they're round and they do tend to roll. Okay. So this is the first bin. These are all my red stamps <gasps> and I'm having to do exactly what you're talking about is going through here and picking out stamps, you know, and then, you know, me, I'm going to obsess over this, but, uh, but yeah, Frank is saying bone knife. Uh, that's kind of scary. I don't know what that means. A bone knife. Maybe bone folder. Um, but uh, I think they're typo? all giving you terms to put. Uh, I think they're, <laughs> what? Is that a, is that a typo? <laughs> well, I think, yeah, I think he meant a bone folder, but I think they're, Giving, throwing out terms for you to, to use a bingo. I think that's, punch board, that's what's going yes, on Punch board, yes, Jim, absolutely. Punch board, um, Copic, Copic, Copic markers. Copic, Copic markers. Copic. Copic, Copic. Tangelo, oh, Copic. Tangelo. We, we can't, we Tangelo. can't forget Tangelo. Tangelo's got to be a square. Um, so like, you speaking know. Speaking of Copics, uh, Pam is, um, uh, is uh what sort of i'm looking for is observing uh the black uh the social media blackout tonight so she is going to watch on the re, re reruns okay so uh but she did want to let us know that she's here with us in spirit okay well hello from the future pam or i should say we're in the past now Woo, that's crazy but yes hello uh we miss you and uh we will hopefully see you later this week and um yeah well, she'll be back tomorrow Okay, cool. All right. We just had, we couldn't help ourselves. We just had to come back into the craft cubby here. So <laughs> as we often do every night. All right. Slow Life 70 has joined. Hello. And then there was another person who hopped in, uh, Star Grazing. What a cool username. Hello and welcome. Um, oh, I think that's my friend from California. I'm cool. And Jennifer is here from Green Moss Paper. Hello. All right. Guess it's time, huh? It's about, it's something. It's, <laughs> I got something here. Got lots of stuff here, guys. Oh, all right. I'm going to be self-absorbed for a little bit. So um, if anybody needs anything, just put it in big letters and Russell yell it at me <laughs> as he looks up. Oh, why is it my responsibility <laughs> to pay attention? Now, see, I, I just separation of duties here a little bit if we had a third person that was just here to help read the comments and could be like our our commentator person that could work too i'm just saying and that way we can craft um, and someone could read the comments it's perfect ashley says thank you for the cool <laughs> care package of goodies that arrived today awesome i'm glad they showed up <laughs> I was really it's, stuffing that stuff in and I was like, I think I can get this thing to seal. And then I did. And I'm like, oh, oh well, that was a, that no was gives the these back to these. Once those things I, seal. I was really concerned about your box because I was afraid that it wasn't going to go through the mail because it had a little blip to it. It was um, fine. No, it was yeah, good. Fine. Good. good. It, there was no like the box was perfect. There was no damage to the box. Oh, good. Um, good. Good. The kids, 
if the kids are sleeping, man. The kids go to bed at like eight or nine o'clock. They're sleeping by this, by the time this craft hour goes down, they better be sleeping or they get in trouble. Um, so this is a, um, this is one of the things that was in my magic box from Russ. So this is my pillow box punch board. And I'm going to be using this maybe later this week. And then obviously there was a lot of Dunkin' Donuts packaging in my box. So I got some card, this is going to be cardstock now. This is from the donut box. Um, and actually it's good, good um, texture for a postcard. It's kind of like cardstock. It's just glossy. And then I got donut Well, that's the mats. thing that surprised me is I thought that's such a good box and it wasn't marred with any kind of food, you know, mm -hmm. grease or anything. No, no. And there I'm were like, no donut of... stains. There was no, exactly. you know, um, there was nothing like that. No sandwich grease stains. No, these are... These are 100% mint pieces of donut, dun dun donut Dunkin's, Dunkin' Donuts paper. Oh my God. <laughs> my brain's fried today. I'm sorry, guys. Landy's here. Welcome. Hello, Landy. All right. I'm going to go tilt down here for a second. I'm just saying, though. What, like, about the, what about the postcards? Did you enjoy the postcards that I sent? They were hilarious. I love the ice yeah. skaters. So there was the ice yeah. skaters one, the judging you about your grammar. There was the funny um, construction cone with the chalk art, which I, I really need to learn how to do that in real life. And, um, gosh. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you, because I wanted it to be humorous and, you know. You know my taste so, in postcards already, though. I'm like, that is. Okay, good. That is good, good, good. uncanny. I'm like, how did he know I would appreciate all of these? I'm like the cute rabbits. I'm just like, yep, he already knows my postcard styles. So uh, you are a very good judge good. of postcard styles. That, that and makes tastes. me very, very happy. Yes. So I am simply going to be gluing down stamps. Um, I've chosen the five by seven size. And then what I've done is I've marked off. Uh, on on the back of the card this um these stamps are about an inch in height each that i'll be using so um uh so i have a half inch on top inch 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 and then half inch on bottom uh so that way i can fit in all six colors uh without too much ha too much manipulation of the stamps so what i'll do is i'll put these on and then i'll just cut off the edges uh that that remain so I have my trusty glue sheet here and it's just really, really is just a matter of applying glue and finding enough variation um, in these stamps to use. Well, that was an easy postcard. Boom, Dunkin' Donuts. And uh, it's funny, this, um, this card stock is a little weird. And by weird, I mean, it's two different colors. So one side is orange. And the other side is yellow. So I'm just going to take the Duncan paper and put it on the yellow side so that the back of my postcard can be orange like Duncan's. Because we all love orange. We do. We do. I'm, it's, not everyone. It's but growing on me. It's growing on me. I used to not like it at all, but it's growing on me. And I'm very happy. Phil, uh, not Phil. Uh, Jim, I got your uh, email. Thank you. I'm glad that uh, you're your hope cards arrived. I'm sorry they didn't arrive in such good condition, but I'm glad. Uh, got I uh, went online and it tried to be uh, to be uh, Sherlock Holmes and try to find um, which store Jim worked at, so that I could send a one of those hope cards that we made that mm -hmm. I made to his employees, thanking them for their service during the pandemic. So, um, and then I sent him the one that I showed uh, on, on the uh, throwdown. So, but he, he said that it didn't arrive in the best condition. So, Ooh. sorry about that. All right. I'm going to go get some uh, paint brushes here, guys, because I got to Mod Podge, the front of Well, this. here's the thing. Yes. You knew you were going to do these cards, and you knew you were going to make them, and you knew you were going to Mod Podge. <laughs> So why did you have your supplies ready? What is That's the term all I'm for saying. this staging? Is this <laughs> is this what they make them do on HGTV staging or something of their Absolutely. Supplies? You got I don't have my supplies. 
<laughs> Hold on. Let me, just, have a PA. let me just ink rare your... over you, you Russ. Hold on. I'm, I'm using my, my, hold on. I'm going to get my Tangelo. Oh, no, oh, Tangelo's here. You cannot, you cannot in front of Tangelo. Not in front of Tangelo. I'll be right back. Hopefully she's coming back. Exactly, Frank. Mise en place. Absolutely. Okay. Hey, cool. This is like show and tell time. Look at this cool thing my friend 3D printed. It's like an orc. And look, he's a range attacker and he's got a bow and a quiver of arrows and... Um, I have never used a 3D printer in my life, and I have no idea how to use one, but I just think this thing is super cool. Anyway, that was random. All right. Uh, Nan says, don't forget the glitter. Now, I have a special glitter. This is the cousin of Tangelo. This glitter is called um, Tangerine something. Ne oh, Tangerine Neon which is a close second to Tangelo. It's so Tangelo's cousin. This is Tangelo's cousin. Tangelo's cousin is glitterific, tangerine neon. Um, so, but first, before I do that, I'm going to lift you guys up because I got to get to my said doo -doo. <laughs> I said, you said doo-doo. What I do do is look up. I got to find my Mod Podge, man. Hang on one second. Now, now okay, so now my camera was resting on my Mod Podge, and now it's not. So now you guys are all angly. Hold on. Ah, the setup is just... I'm always up. a little off center. <laughs> the setup is terrible. Hold on. Worst setup ever. Let's try to fix this thing. Clue by Constance has joined. Welcome. Hello. Okay, now you guys are resting on a uh, bottle of puzzle glue. Hey, look at that. How's that for some stability? Some good old puzzle glue. And how's that different from Mod Podge? Um, I, or is it? It came from a grab bag at Savers. I have absolutely no idea. Oh. I have to look into the Savers thing. It's about the third time in two days you said it. It's awesome. It's kind of... Ashley can vouch. It's kind of like treasure hunting really you go treasure hunting it's it's equivalent to a it's okay it's like goodwill but the inside doesn't smell like pee the way sometimes goodwill or salvation army does it smells a little less uriny <laughs> it's a, no it's it's a it's it's a good store if what you're looking for is um um funky vintage t-shirts or i don't know just random stuff used stuff remind me not to go thrift shopping with you <laughs> i got this t-shirt with the watermelons <laughs> on it at savers the other day and i don't think we have a daiso in our city i've heard of this store but i don't think we have one um yes yeah, savers is a well organized treasure hunt actually that is the perfect definition for that store perfect thank you no, I, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's fun. Sometimes, you know, it's a Friday night in the middle of winter when like COVID's not happening. I would just go there, look around, put my headphones on, listen to like some Euro pop and just zone out and like look at things. Like that's what, before, before COVID, that's what I would do like on a weekend if nothing was going on late night. I know the store closes at like nine or 10, go in. It's very relaxing. So you're a total Eurovision kind of contest girl. I am. Um, shh. Don't tell anybody, dude. Don't tell people. Really. I have. I had no idea what that was uh, until I moved here to New York. I actually don't know what that is. I was just agreeing with it. <laughs> oh, really? Eurovision is the European song contest to where all these European countries submit their best song that has been determined by their by you know hmm. their individual countries yes and it's a big it's a big song contest uh and it's just like a gay explosion well um have you guys ever heard of radio garden before 
I haven't. Okay, Radio Garden. Go get yourself some Radio Garden. It is free. Um, if you like international music, which I do, because I mean I've lived in Spain, I've lived elsewhere uh, over the over over time. And now visited... she's just bragging. No, no, no. Just listen. You, <laughs> I'm no, I, 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 I'm teasing. Listen, I have. It's this very important information. Radio Garden is a very cool uh, uh, streaming website, and you go in there, and it it shows this like giant globe that animates, and you get in there, and um, hello, um, Megar Parekh. Hello. All right, so you get in there and say, you know, I get really nostalgic and I miss Spain sometimes. Cause I used to live there when I was in college. I'll take my finger, I'll swipe around on that globe until I get to Spain. And then you can zoom in to different cities. And I lived in Valencia. So I will find Valencia and I'm like, oh, here's the top 20 radio stations from that city. And I will listen to them. Sometimes, uh, actually, my kids can vouch. I always have it on um, what I'm crafting. We're in Spain, um, in Valencia, Spain, which was the, it's in the southeastern, um, I, do, I do hablo espanol, but not very well. Um, it's been a long time. So it's like, use it or lose it. I lost a lot of it. Um, so anyway, pick a country. If there's a country you wax nostalgic about that maybe you visited once, like go there, go to that country, go to that city, or just surf around the globe and you can find all sorts of random radio stations. They're free to stream. And um, it's kind of cool. Like it'll be in the afternoon and here and it's, it'll be like, you know, it's 3 a.m. here in Valencia. I'm like, that is cool. And um, some of the music is like traditional, local, regional type stuff you can listen to. Some of it is a rehash of 80s music. So it's like 80s Funko Pop, Euro Pop, Techno Pop type stuff. It's awesome. And it's free. So like, you know, Captain Cheapo here loves... Uh, radio garden for that purpose because it's it's like this weird grab bag of european music or um, it is called radio garden and i think the website is radiogarden.net garden g-a-r-d-e-n anyways it's my favorite favorite website of all time it's awesome so uh jen yes this is my uh project for uh challenge 11 i'm making a flag out of a pride flag out of postage stamps and that's going to be the background of the uh of the postcard and then i have different um different uh, uh gay themed um rainbow themed stickers i'm going to put on the front of it to decorate do you have the holographic one that says stamp out hate? I don't. I got that one from someone who I think got it from the Letter Writers Alliance. Do you guys remember that group? I don't. Ah, it's one of the coolest stickers. I have a couple of them in my sticker vault. Very cool sticker. It's like it says stamp out hate and it's like this little rectangle, but it is iridescent and it is um like, it's a hologram. I don't know. It's the coolest sticker of all time. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to the tunnel. I'll be it's going to the tunnel. What's that? What? That was, that was Phil's term for me stepping away is going to the tunnel. Going to the, he's going to the tunnel, everyone. Uh, let's see, Landy, actually, uh, no, I don't, but I think you had me at Enanitos Verdes. You had me there. I'm going to have to check out that band. Some of these bands I just discover at random, um, here on Instagram when I go to the music sticker. Sometimes I find some pretty interesting stuff. Okay. So Dunkin' Donuts postcard number one is almost done so there's a little unicorn i showed you last night russ we have a I question have these for little... you yeah. what do you do with your postcards before you assign them do you take a picture i do i take a picture before i send them and then i take a picture of the addressed postcard before i send oh pam's here hello wow welcome pam 
We weren't Mark. expecting you, but we're glad you're here. Um, so I have this little unicorn, and I've got these little Mickey Mouse uh, <gasps> stickers. Oh, my God. Where did you get those from? Uh, we had uh, at all of Disney shows on Broadway they have a special sticker that they produce for Pride. Those are beautiful. So, uh, and so, oh, my God. And these were, you know me, uh, these were left behind and no one wanted them. So I what? said, well, I will take like, whatever people don't want. Put them in my so trench coat I have, and run away yeah, with almost, them. Yeah, that's. Uh... Yeah, I have almost a whole roll of these. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. And then so I have all these little letters and things, these little hearts, you know. Uh, so I'll be using, and then for you, I have these little rainbow reflectors. Ooh. Those are wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, those are that's a that is a nice sticker. That is a nice quality sticker right there. I so like I will use some or all of these things to decorate my, my card. Now are you going to be working on this just tonight or are you gonna kinda of stretch it into a few different nights, do you think? I don't know. It depends on if I can find motivation to do something uh different tomorrow. Uh I may, you know, leave the um the reveal until uh, I post on Friday okay, or when I fair. post on. Uh, yeah. Uh, but. Uh, All right. Okay. So, so I am working one. on the orange level now. Well, Pam, you're always welcome. Whether it's crazy time or not, uh, we're glad you're here. And so, you know, and that's what something I, I, I may have mentioned to, to you and in our email that, uh, um, I needed this night tonight, so uh, I'm trying to find return to some sense of normal. Yes. And uh, coming here for this hour was was something I needed, and so I was I was glad that we were going to do this still uh, on this night. So, and I mean, um, unless you guys see something on here, and I post to my Instagram, and it says like for unforeseen circumstances, I will not be available. Like, assume that it's going down, even if I didn't post the little picture that says art throwdown every night from blah, 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 blah. Even if I forget it, like this thing is so ingrained in my routine now that unless like, you know, something crazy happens and I get hit by a bus. And of course there'd be an Instagram post explaining that assume that it's happening. So it's on, it's always. And on. if for some reason you can't, I will. So between the two of us. And so um, what will happen is I will post to say that I'll be hosting ATD that night so they can look for my yes. going live so between the two of us we should be covered uh, unless we you know uh, unilaterally make a decision not to do it for whatever reason that may be or both get hit by a bus yeah exactly yeah and in my life right now that's probably not you know <laughs> stay to away laugh at. from midtown dude yeah. get out of midtown don't go there don't uh, go and there that's, and that's another thing is um I may be getting a temporary P.O. box here mm. in the Bronx so that I don't have to go into Manhattan to pick up mail. Okay. So if that's the case, I will uh, be posting that. Um, I, yeah, I think that's a great idea. Because you know, right now I'm just having a little panic attack about having to go back into the city. I would too. And, I would not want and to. And so, um, so I may uh, get a P.O. box, a local P.O. box here that I can walk to here in the Bronx. Uh, so... Um, so if that's the case, I'll post it so that everyone will have that notice and then I can DM it to you um, what that will be and how long that will be. And um, oh, and Pam says, and if either of us can't, she will be our third string host. Really? That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome, Pam. Thank you. Now we're just going to start pressuring people like, come in, get on video, come into the art throwdown and like you know baby steps present. baby steps we'll get there <laughs> ride the snake we still haven't figured out how to get a third person on here we tried that once one time remember yeah but that person was coming in from like southeast asia Phil. somewhere no it wasn't no that was, was Phil. It Phil yeah he was going to show us some of his postcards, remember? Yes. No, and then Ilongo, um, Ilongo Cartero um, was the other one who was going to do like right. this beautiful watercolor. And like the, the finished product, I have to say, was on freaking believable. It was amazing. I'm like, oh, I need to learn how to watercolor like you. 
Um, but so he, his bandwidth was like all messed up. If you guys scroll, um, and we can test it out now. What the heck? If you scroll all the way to the top of this message feed, there should be a button in the comment section that says like request to join the blah, 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 blah. There's a request button. So if you hit request, I will get a notification over here that says so-and-so wants to join your video feed. So if anybody's daring, um, scroll back up and let's see if it works. So uh, Anna says, um, oh, Janet is offering to co-host with with Pam, which I think would be very interesting. Yes. Um, like, why don't you all just come in here? It's fine. Yeah. Uh, Anna says for me to stay in this week, uh, probably longer than this week, but uh, there are some things I do have to pick up and I just don't know how much I need them. I've been changing a lot of my uh, mailing addresses uh, to have things delivered by, uh, via Amazon here to my home in the Bronx. So yep. uh, I'm working away some of that stuff. Um, are you able Phil to get was postcards? To show us the... oh, oh, yeah, I'm go sorry. ahead. Uh, Phil wants to... To try to come in? Yeah, if you're, dude, if you're able to, come on in. We'll let you in. Yeah. Phil was trying to show us his suffragette postcard. Yes, he was at one point. Uh, and then it, yeah. he couldn't figure out the, yeah, you literally have to scroll all the way back up to the messaging thing. Right. Yes. Yeah. So uh, Ashley says, uh, the art throwdown in videos from the dodo, I don't know what that is, or what keeps her from curling up in a corner these days. I had subscribed to all of the, the kitten ah. and cat videos. Uh, so I'm right there with you. I think the dodo is very similar to that. But yeah, I uh, the cat videos have been getting me through the days as well. Um, it's awesome. Yeah. The little cat videos. There was one today where the this uh, FedEx guy is playing a catch and release with this little baby kitten. So it runs. It chases him to his car, to his truck, mm -hmm. his FedEx truck. He picks it up and then takes it back to to the door. Uh, in the welcome mat, and he runs back to his truck, and the kitten follows him. Aww. And they do this for like a couple of minutes. And the caption was, "Sorry, folks, your mail's gonna be late this today because I'm playing with the cat." <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and Phil, that's an interesting idea. Different hosts of art throwdown episodes. So, you know, if you guys get tired of listening to my voice or Russ's, then... Um... <laughs> Just Allison's. If you get tired of Allison's. <laughs> if you guys get tired of my nasal upstate, upstate New York... Uh, I'll see. Now, it says... Phil says he requested it. I don't see anything. Nothing came through. See, I'm thinking once you initially log on, you yeah. have to request. Okay. I think that's what it is. Once once you originally sign into the, the broadcast, yes. that's when the request button should show up. And that's when you have to do it. I think once you're already here, I don't think you can request once you're already on. So you're saying Phil would have to physically log out of this and log back in and yeah. then Yeah, Phil, if you want to try that, do we've got it. 20 do minutes. It. Yeah. What about logging off? Try it. And logging back on. And, and when you log back on, see if you get that request. Totally. <laughs> Ashley's like, go back out, Phil. Come back in. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley's totally telling him what to do. Love it. Go back out. Come back in. Let's see. Now, if I, I'm, I'm watching the feed here. See if anything comes through. Done. Nothing happened. I don't see anything. So I'm wondering if you have to be at the top of your feet for ah, it to show up. Hold on. All right. Nobody, nobody message anything. No more comments because they're going to make me scroll even more up to the top. Okay. Ready? All the way up. Crud, I don't see a button that says anything like that. Here, I'm going to keep going. Still looking. Not seeing anything. Um, 
nothing, nothing, nothing. We were talking about savers. Dude, it doesn't work. So maybe, I don't know if it's possible, maybe there's a limit of two people per video. I don't Pam know. Pam says maybe only two accounts at a time. That's, that's what, what I'm Pam thinking. Maybe that's what it is. So um, ah, I'm sorry, Phil. I don't know. I do not know. So how about we do this? Tomorrow night, let's designate someone to try to look to to a co-host other than me so okay. you'll come on and i will wait yes and give someone else a chance to co-host how about we do that absolutely yeah so whoever requests okay. first you can come in you can show me your collections you can show us whatever you want which your, your projects that you're working on um yeah let's do that that sounds good to me russ yup you know, that was a good try. Uh, <laughs> maybe the next time will be the charm. Well, I just think we're so, also used to seeing all these Zoom rooms that, yeah. you know, where they have a hundred like people. Bunch. There's like a billion yeah. people in there and they're all looking at each other. And, you know, here we just have the two. So, um, you know, we'll get it. Don't worry. We'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah, I do like, uh, as Pam suggests, do like a little tour of your postcards uh, collection for the first 10 minutes. And then uh, Russ can hop back in and he can uh, he can show us his um, whatever project he's working on. The rest of maybe the rest of his postcard for the reveal. Maybe. Phil is saying Pam is the director tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, postcard number two is now Mod Podged. So I think... You were just barreling through those things. Well, it's faster than I usually make my postcards. Usually I just have, have to sit there and think about it, and then I overanalyze the stickers, and ah, it's got time well, for I that. Think to, I think tonight, though, is because a lot of it, you've done it before, so a lot of it's repeat. Yes. Oh, yeah, where, this is you know, easy. Yeah. Easy peasy. So here's the uh, original postcard that I did earlier. And uh, I'm just going to go get my my tangerine neon out and I'm going to start painting some of these letters because that's what I did for the other one. Um, was it Carrie that I sent the original Duncan postcard to? I think it was Carrie. And so... I think it was. I think she was the first one to request it. She beat everybody to the punch. We couldn't type fast yo, enough. She did. She did. And I think all told, I will have eight of these all together once um, I am done gluing and glittering. So, you know, th there will be enough to go around, I'm sure. All right, so glitter time. I'm going to just point my camera down. You guys can watch me glitter. Okay. And of all of my stamps, all of my used stamps, these, <laughs> I don't know how this worked out. These are the only two yellow stamps that I have. Beautiful. Now, thank goodness I have, you know, a hundred of each. But I'm just like, how do I not have any yellow stamps? Don't you have like the 70s energy conservation stamp? Wasn't that a yellow one? Um, I think that's a multi multicolor one. But these are used, though. Those I have a lot of those in uh, mint condition. Ooh. Um, where do you so get these them are the from, ones, out of curiosity, the mint? Of which? The used or unused? Uh, unused mint condition stamps. On on eBay, on Etsy, you know, I have uh, vendors that will uh, give me specials because they're trying to move product, mm -hmm. you know, and I can send them themes and they'll give me a good rate kind of thing. Cool. Uh, especially if I'm working for brides, uh, I will let them know and then we'll come to some kind of consensus that I will take. 10 of the ones that I need and take, you know, five of the ones I don't that they're trying to get rid of. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's how, that's a good way to keep people on your side, especially in, in retail and in stamps. Absolutely. Is do those kind of, do those kind of trade-offs. Nice. 
because for stamps for me, I'm going to use them. So, you know, even if I don't like them, I can still use them. Exactly. So it's not as if I'm doing like these people that are trying to collect and build up an album or whatever the case may be. <laughs> right. Um, You're like, these are actually going on pieces of mail. Yeah. Yes, the Gold Star Mother Stamps are yellow, three-cent stamps. And I do have, but once again, I have those in unused condition. I have two sheets of those because so, I was so enamored with those, especially after the Trump uh, Gold Star family fiasco. I purposely went out and bought those as a, um, as a boycott to him. Uh, but... Uh, Hmm. I think this you spy. This what? Oh, sorry. Terrific is actually working way better on this Duncan postcard than the original. I had some kind of weird acrylic glitter paint thing that I used on my original one that I sent to Carrie, but this one seems to be going on a little more evenly. Cool. All right, so I'm getting a. Did you thicker... shake up the bottle or something? No, I'm using a. I'm using Glitterific oh. by Folk Art. Oh, okay. So it's You're a... di using a different brand. Yeah, I'm using a different yeah. brand, and quite honestly, I'm noticing that this is going on much easier. Much easier. Cool. Yeah. Neato. Okay. Neato mosquito. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's going I on. I learned that in the Boy Scouts. <laughs> Neato mosquito. Yeah, for the two weeks I was in. <laughs> i love your boy scouting stories it's all about the cinnamon rolls i see that's that's really what it comes down to yep it's all about the jelly rolls jelly roll yeah i gotta i really gotta get off my rear and start this bingo card thing i really do <sighs> side projects That's i think a... we should hire pam <laughs> to... oh uh, araya is on is on hello araya hello um uh, araya is pam's granddaughter i think niece something and she likes she's a little one she's, and she likes lions she's and big cats she liked my tiger postcard that i did for my tiger swap oh cool hello araya hello hello we're painting tonight i've got my paintbrush i've got my glitter glue Yep. Painting a postcard. There we go. Granddaughter. Yes. I knew it was a relation. Oh, I was saying maybe we should hire Pam to make us some jelly roll shirts. <laughs> All about the jelly roll. So you now, use her cricket or her silhouette or whatever machine she has to make us. Now, see, that's what <laughs> I. This is why I need to join cricket, even though I'm afraid to join cricket, because you know. It's definitely a uh, trip down the you know the rabbit hole, yeah. uh, but. Um, and I feel like I, it's one of those things where I'm going to be like, oh hey wait, I didn't realize I needed all of like three hundred dollars worth of this product. Well, and, well, that's you know. the thing is, is they have so many things and so many different projects and you want them all and you want to start. And yeah. So Pam, is it, do you have the cricket or do you have the silhouette? I can't remember. But I love that saying. It's all about the jelly roll. My jelly roll. And nobody but us on the ATD will know what the, that means. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. It's like the secret handshake in the fraternity. That could be our motto to each other when we see each other on the streets. It's all about the jelly roll. <laughs> it is. That's making me want pastries right now. I'm like, God, it's so late. Why am I why am I craving pastries? I am. And garlic wings. Uh, garlic I have wings. been um, living I haven't had a solid meal since yesterday. Um, Ooh. And so I have been living off ice cream, to be quite honest with you. So, yes. I mean, there is protein in it. It's all yeah. good. It's a cricket. And she's named her Audrey after Audrey Hepburn. Oh, my goodness. 
So in theory, Pam has the ability to make beautiful um, screen printed shirt logos. I think it's more of uh, a heat transfer, one of those heat transfer presses. So she puts the transfer material in, in the Cricut and does all the cutting. Ah. Uh, and then she does a heat transfer uh, on the T-shirts. I think that's the way it goes. Like an iron-on transfer printing process type thing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was just making that and up I think they do printing. <laughs> I have no idea what that yeah, is. Uh, and actually. I think they do uh, vinyl as well. So, um, yes, they, they do vinyl. They do uh, iron-on transfers. I feel like we need like a, a jean jacket or something, don't you? That's two seventies for me. Yeah, oh. I, I'm. I'm. Uh, you I moved on take to that the, back. Don't. No, I moved my on to the jacket. leather jacket. Thank you. I, I finally could afford. First, it was the members only jacket. Well, why not a members uh, only? And then that's, it was the jean jacket. Suitable. And so now I've moved on to the leather jacket. Yes. You're like I'm at a point in my life where yes, the leather jacket is is my life. Okay. Well, no, I'm at the point in my life where I can afford a, a nice leather jacket. <laughs> I'm at a point in my life where I'm ready to go back to members only just because, you know, it was like quintessentially 80s. Uh, Jim is, has finished another coloring page. Yay. Hooray. That makes me very happy. Hopefully it's one of my coloring pages. <laughs> but just to be a little, you know, egocentric. But I'm glad that you finished your page regardless. Anna says, I'm so organized, and I don't know why she means that. So uh. <laughs> look, at, look at your organization of the stamps. It's extremely organized. Everything's lined up neatly. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's admiring your members-only jackets. So, uh, yeah. I want a members-only jacket. Okay, that Ashley, that's going to be my white whale. If I ever see one in Savers, I don't even care if it doesn't fit me. I'm going to get it. I'm going to make it fit. I want one. Want one. So we are now to the green layer. Ooh. Well, that just seems fitting that yours is made out of used postage stamps. That just, that it is very, that is a very Russell postcard. It's a very me thing. Yes, you're absolutely <laughs> correct. Very Russell. Man, I am on fire tonight. I actually, I thought I was going to be doing, I would be making more of these by now, but I am on my second one. So it's pretty good progress. And you guys can maybe see the sparkle. Can you guys see the glitter? I think you're slacking personally, but I'll just, I'll I just leave that I promise you, and Ashley can <laughs> vouch for this. When I actually send these in the mail, there is actually a lot more detail on these cards than is evident like here in the video and um, in the still shots that I put on my feed. There's a lot going on in my postcards. Yeah, uh, Ashley, for some, I mean, Allison, for some reason, is one of the only people that I still let call me Russell. Oh, um, am I not allowed to? Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. It's just uh, usually that was reserved for the nuns and was usually reserved <laughs> when I was in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. No, it's fine, though. Phil's asking what kind of ice cream am I eating? Anything. Right now, I've been eating anything. Uh, right now in the freezer, I have um, French vanilla. And I have, uh, there's your Vanna moment, as Frank says. Um, <laughs> or what, what? Your Vanna moment. Oh, yes. Yes, Frank, my Vanna Frank moment. I have to, yes, yeah. I'm showing off the card. Um, and I have Neapolitan. Okay, uh, which is little known fact. Fact. If you take a dish of Neapolitan and each of those flavors is proportional to the other, other flavors, if you take a spoon and you stir it up, it turns the color of, guess what? A Wendy's... Poops brown. A Wendy's Frosty. And guess okay. what? It tastes... That's poop brown. Very similar to a Wendy's Frosty. Try it. I swear to God. I think the, the secret behind, this is my theory, the secret behind the Wendy's Frosty is that it is simply Neapolitan ice cream soft serve and just stir it up. 
Wendy's Frosty, secret ingredients. And I did that once just out of sheer boredom. I had a, a bowl of Neapolitan and I'm like, mm, let's see what it looks like. And what does it taste like when you, you know, blend it? Wendy's Frosty. Tell me I'm wrong. I want someone out there to experiment with that. <laughs> uh, just to let you know, we have less than four minutes remaining. <sighs> Why? Why? I, know, I just, I don't know how. One of these days, I think Art Throwdown is going to become like a convention, and then we can just like all go to the Art Throwdown convention. All right, hold up my, my postcard again. All right, would you like some lighting on it? Here, you can see the glitter, kind of. This is my glitterific. You can kind of, actually, yeah, if I get close enough, you can see I've got glitterific uh, tangerine neon is the orange hue that I am using on the orange letters. And I have left the pink letters alone because I've started to come to the realization that if I put too much glitterific uh, on my postcards, it, I hate to say this, but it's almost like there's a little too much going on. Um, and actually, I'm going to get the one that I finished the other night. I'm going to show you guys real quick. Let me grab it. And that's coming from Miss Glitterific herself. I mean, I think I went, I went too, it's like, you know that moment when you go too far and you have to kind of admit to yourself that you went too far? Well, here's the postcard that I did from last night. And I was looking at it. I'm like, yay, it's got all the pieces on it. But yet, like, there's so much, God, there's so much going on. It almost mutes the collage a little bit. So I learned a lesson and <laughs> how much is too much glitter. Can you guys see all this glitter? It's all about self-reflection right now. <sighs> I'm just being honest with Jennifer, myself. Jennifer, oh my gosh, I love carrot cake. First of all, I can just Ooh. eat the carrot cake frosting alone in a bowl. But I love carrot cake. It's one of my favorites. My favorite is German chocolate cake for any of those that are taking, taking notes. And my favorite pie is key lime pie. Uh, just, just, you know, I have a birthday coming up in August. So anyway, but, um, but no, I uh, love carrot cake as long as it doesn't have pineapple. Have you ever had a carrot cake that has pineapple in it? Pineapple chunks? No, that, that's wrong. That, that should not exist. That I agree. That shouldn't exist. But, and Pam, uh, Anna says she loves it, and Pam says never too much glitter. All right, all right. I am a, I am a Virgo. I was born on August the 26th. All right. Well, I'm a Gemini, and um, because this is a public channel, I'm not going to say when my birthday is, but June is my birthday month. I am a June birthday, uh, so I'm a June baby. So just throwing that out there. But you can DM her and she'll tell you what her birthday is. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Nikki's August 28th. Cool. Ah, you guys are both Virgos. But like, Nikki, aren't you like right on the cusp or something? Isn't that like Both the of us are. The, uh, I think that the, the turnover is the 24th, if I'm not mistaken. Ah. Uh, but okay. we both on the cusp of Leo. Ashley, I knew that. I remember that from last year. Um. That's remarkable. Ashley's mother and I share the same birthday. Very cool. Very and cool. Jim is the 28th as well. Look at all these Leos. Oh, my wow. gosh. Wow. Yeah, that – Um, thank you, Landy. Um, I did not expect everybody to have, like, the same birthday around the same time. Like, how weird is that? Um, are there any so, other Geminis in the house? I've got to ask. Am I the only one? So I think most of us were conceived when it was very, very cold. So yes. I think that's why we have August birthdays. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. June. June is my birthday month. Um, oh, my God. We've got a, what, a minute, maybe. Yeah. Um, Less so, than. Yeah. Ugh. All right. So he's my t Russ keeps an official timer somewhere. I don't know how that works, but he always knows. All right. So um, for anybody that is new here, thank you for joining. Uh, we're here Monday through Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, Feel free to post your stuff. Anything you guys worked on, you want to share with us. We love to see your creations. And uh, yeah, as always, it is a pleasure having you guys here. Um, check out our channel, Art Throwdown, all one word. All of our previous episodes for the last few weeks now are up. So um, feel free to check them out. In the meantime, uh, that's all from me and my crazy glitter postcards. So, and Russ is still, And that's all for me. And he is diligently working on his. Stay healthy. Be good, guys. Have fun out there.